John with the Electromatic Siemens Tech Support in Farmington Hills, Michigan, and we're going to show you how to um, connect to a running PLC and take an online backup. Um, it's a Step 7 300 series PLC in version 5.5. We're going to use Profibus as our network type. So we've got a checklist over here. We'll follow this. Um, first step is in the PGPC interface. We're going to set the PGPC interface to our USB adapter. PGPC interface is in the control panel if you ever want to look for it, but if you have Windows 7 or later, you can usually just type it into the search bar. So um, I've already got it selected here. It's PC adapter USB A2 auto. Once that's selected, I'm going to go to the properties tool and scan the network. So it says I'm detected to a Profibus network at 1.5 megabaud. Um, that's useful information. Sometimes when you're in the field, you don't really know what kind of network you're supposed to be connecting to. So I'm going to keep that information off to the side here. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, scan the network to make sure we can see our PLC. So I should see my uh, laptop here at zero and the PLC at two. Looks like everything's good, so I know the network is good for me to work on, so I'm going to start working here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a new file. And I'll just name this uh, online backup. All right, so I won't add anything to this. I'll just go to PLC, upload station to PG. And um, I'm going to scan the network here to find my, PC, my PLC. It's uh, address 2, so I'll click on that, click OK. And I've uploaded the project here. So um, the thing about uploaded projects, um, regardless of whether you're using Ethernet, like our last video, or Profibus, they don't have any symbolic information. So what that means is um, the symbol table will be empty on an uploaded project. And if you have any logic, it won't have any symbolic information. So it's telling you that right here. And you see FC1. There's no symbolic information for FC1. I can open it up. Same kind of warnings. And I just have MB0 and MW2. Um, to give you an idea of what the differences are a little bit more explicitly, if I open the project that this actually came from, Okay, so as you can see here, the online backup project um, is uh, is not showing the that that um, the standard project does. It actually is showing an FB. That FB is there from uh, an old program, so that's actually still on the processor. It was never fully cleared out, um, and the DB is associated with that FB. It's not running. So it's got some garbage on there that was in the processor from before. Um, and also, um, you know, there's no symbolic information. So, you know, no variable table. If I go inside of FC1 and I come back out to here and open up FC1 here, we can look at them side by side. And as you can see, I've got, you know, symbolic names for my memory byte zero and memory word two here that aren't there. Also, if I open up OB1 in each case, okay. So as you can see in OB1, um, there's no symbolic information. However, in OB1 in the offline program, I, I name the function clock add. All right. Well, that's all for this video. Um, the note, the checklist here will be in the notes. Thanks for watching.